This is a short demonstration of how to construct a temporary straw bale sediment trap. The site chosen for this example is a gully in a small catchment of approximately 3 hectares. The gully erosion is active with soil being lost from the sides and the gully floor and sediment being delivered into a small farm dam. Ensure that your chosen site for the sediment trap is flat and wide at the gully base and that the gully sides are gradually sloping. Before starting, measure up the site to ensure you have plenty of straw bales to span the gully floor and also up the gully sides. Once happy with the position of the bales, mark out where you will dig the trench. Remove the bales so you can dig a trench about 3 inches deep along the length of the sediment trap. Use hand tools such as mattocks or shovels to excavate the soil. I'm not being a lackey. <laughs> Make sure the trench base is flat so that the bales sit snugly in the trench. Next, place the bales into the trench and butt them up against each other so there are no gaps between the bales. Here, we're using two foot long galvanised star pickers to securely hold the bales into the trench. Yep. Place some of the trench soil against the straw bales to help create a good seal. Once done, use the flat end of a crowbar to help tamp in the soil around the edges of the bales. You need to go along all edges of the bales, including the sides. Compacting the edges will help ensure that water doesn't undermine the sediment trap. So once finished, the straw bales should be flat across the top like a weir and ensure that water flows over the centre of the sediment trap and not around the sides. Check your sediment trap under flowing conditions to make sure water isn't undermining the bales. Make sure you place a mixture of small and large rocks immediately downstream of the straw bales to ensure that water flowing over the crest of the weir doesn't cause any erosion. If working properly, you'll notice that the sediment has deposited behind the straw bales after water has drained away. After a few years, the straw bales can be expected to deteriorate and their ability to store sediment will be reduced.